Alright, in this video I will be discussing the music and the sound, environment, and character design for Volume 5. Each of these are topics I don't completely or have a proper understanding of. So, what I end up saying here is my interpretation for each, based on my current knowledge and personal opinion. I'll start on the sound design, which I'll mention and talk about the sound effects, efforts, and voice acting. The sound effects and efforts had some weak implementation in the action scenes. One moment for the sound effects is when Sun saves Blake. I don't think I should be able to tell that the sound used is made by two poles colliding. The moment that I think has really weak efforts is pretty much everything done by Weiss in the sky battle. I either found an effort to be not well delivered or not necessary. I sadly didn't find or consider any sound effects or efforts to be extraordinary in sound or use. But that doesn't mean there weren't any well done implementations. Sun vs. Ilya does come to mind. The sound design here does more than what it needed to and helped make this exchange memorable. The voice acting is something I enjoy pretty much throughout. Some of the delivery for the dialogue by the cast is a little distracting or poorly performed. The one bit of voice acting that stands out in this regard is for Emerald during the last episode. Again, I find the voice performance done by the cast to be pretty enjoyable outside of moments like that, which those moments are definitely in the minority. Overall, I think the sound design for Volume 5 to be good or really well done about 70-80% to 80 of the time. It either does its job or goes a little ways beyond the mile while stumbling here or there along the way. Music this time around does still carry the emotional style of Volume 4. I find that the music carries with it a sense of grandness, which I think works due to how expansive the world now is, or at least by how many locations we get to see. This time, my favorite tracks are This Time all Things Must Die, This Life Is Mine, and the remixes of Armed and Ready and Let's Just Live. I included This Life Is Mine this time because it did get used in the volume for the end of the sky battle and I never listened to it fully. I would have included Ignite if not for Lindsay yelling Yane taking me completely out of the song. Can we please have a version of the song without that? Just for me to throw this in here, the opening track, The Triumph, is good and I do like it but I found the actual opening to be pretty weak and a little unfocused. The unfocused part from when it starts getting into the action, if I had to rank all the current openings, I would list them like this. Number one, when it falls. Number two, time to say goodbye. Number three, let's just live. Number four, this will be the day. And last is the triumph. It just doesn't do all that much for me. The OP, not the song. All right, now with volume four, the series got a big change to its visual design. Environments became better crafted and vibrant, and the character models are much more rounded and expressive. I have to give props to the modeling and rendering team because of this. I also have to give major props to the technical and environmental team for Volume 5 in particular. The area with floating islands, the Belladonna house being set ablaze, the spring vault, and the visual effect applied while inside the vault. All of these are spectacular in their creation and execution. I also want to point out the awesome, didn't need to be there but I'm thankful it is, detail of dust particles during the scene between Yane and Weiss in episode 8. There is only one set used in this volume I didn't really care for. It is where Gira is fending off the White Fame for episodes 8 and 9. I think it is the front entrance to the estate. I don't like these engagements taking place here for two episodes because of how small it is. At least the scenes with Kali during these episodes took place in two different rooms. I think the character models did get a touch-up. I can't really tell any major differences when comparing the way they looked in Volume 4, but thank god Mercury got a second pass. He looks a lot better than he did in Volume 4. Here's hoping Ironwood gets the same treatment. I do have to mention one thing when it comes to something about the designs I pointed out when I talked about Volume 4. Three of the four characters I pointed out having coattails as a part of their design took that part of their clothing off when fighting. That may, or may not, say anything about this design's implementation in the show. It works with Hazel, but Tyrion and Yane are questionable. Again, could mean nothing, because I don't have a clue what actually went into their design. Even though I just said that, I have to voice my developed displeasure with Blake's current design. And it's all that heavy jacket's fault. I like her undershirt, her pants, and her ears, except for the ears and her color. My problem is the jacket and its coattails. It's unnecessarily long coattails. I look at Blake's previous clothing and see light, small clothing. This heavy jacket feels very out of place for me, especially when I consider the type of fighter Blake is. She's a fast, agile fighter who depends on outmaneuvering and punishing her opponent. 
I see this jacket as a hindrance to the way she fights. I could come up with a character reason for why it was implemented. For instance, this could be considered a symbol for the heavy burden Blake puts on herself because of what happened in Volume 3. I hope she gets a new outfit for Volume 6, since the White Fane storyline is basically finished up. I also want to see Weiss get a wardrobe change out of her Atlas clothing to better fit where she currently is physically and emotionally. She needs new battle attire badly. So does Oscar. I think the best way to finish this off is list my 5 favorite character designs for Volume 4 and 5. First up is Nora, then Ruby, Ren, Jean, and finally, Kali. I only dislike Blake and Adam's new designs, and that's it. Okay, I do have one last thing to point out when it comes to character designs, and I find this fucking hilarious. <laughs> Why is she wearing a hat while swimming? Why the long skirt too? Are those normal shoes? Is this really a proper swimming attire? It's so ridiculous! <sighs> okay. Now with that out of my system, what do you think of the design elements for the series? How have they grown or declined? What did you think of the music for Volume 5? From any volume, what are your favorite character designs? Let me know in the comments below.